The quest for the perfect protein intake per meal to maximize muscle growth has led to various theories and recommendations. Some argue for a specific threshold, while others suggest different strategies for this optimizing muscle protein synthesis. In this video, we'll unravel the science behind protein utilization, exploring the limits, implications, and practical takeaways for anyone looking to enhance muscle building efficiency. So, if you've ever wondered about the ideal protein intake per meal for your fitness goals, you're in the right place. But before we move on, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In a research by McNaughton and colleagues, the myofibrillar fractional synthetic rate was approximately 20% higher from consumption of the 40 grams of whey protein compared to the 20 grams condition, immediately after performing a total body resistance training bout. One limitation of the research to consider is its focus solely on fast-acting whey protein. While valuable insights were gained from this study, it's important to note that our everyday meals often comprise a variety of proteins with differing digestion rates. These could include slower digesting proteins like casein or plant-based sources. Kim and colleagues, endeavored to investigate this topic by provision of either 40 or 70 grams of beef protein, consumed as part of a mixed meal on two distinct occasions, separated by approximately one week washout period. Results showed that the higher protein intake promoted a significantly greater whole body anabolic response, which was primarily attributed to a greater attenuation of protein breakdown. A notable limitation of the study is that measures of protein balance were taken at the whole body level and thus not muscle specific. In a 14-day study of elderly women, Arnal and colleagues demonstrated that, providing a majority of daily protein, 79%, in a single meal, resulted in a greater retention of fat-free mass compared to an evenly distributed intake partitioned over four daily meals. A follow-up study by the same lab in young women reported similar effects of pulse versus spread patterns of protein intake. The combined findings of these studies indicate that, Muscle mass is not negatively affected by consuming the majority of daily protein as a large bolus. However, neither study employed regimented resistance training, thereby limiting generalizability to individuals involved in intense exercise programs. Morton and colleagues concluded that, 0.4 grams per kilogram per meal would optimally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. In line with this hypothesis, they mentioned the caveat that, their findings were estimated means for maximizing muscle protein synthesis, and that the dosing ceilings can be as high as approximately 0.6 grams per kilogram for some older men, and approximately 0.4 grams per kilogram for some younger men. Importantly, these estimates are based on the sole provision of a rapidly digesting protein source, that would conceivably increase potential for oxidation of amino acids when consumed in larger bolises. Insights into the effects of protein dosage can also be gleaned from studies on intermittent fasting. Typical intermittent fasting protocols require intake of daily nutrients, including protein, in a narrow time frame, usually less than 8 hours, followed by a prolonged fast. A recent systematic review concluded that intermittent fasting has similar effects on fat-free mass compared with continuous eating protocols. In conclusion, the debate around the maximum amount of protein the body can utilize in a single meal for optimal muscle building remains ongoing. Rather than fixating solely on maximizing protein intake within a single meal, the best practice lies in ensuring that you reach your daily protein requirements. Consistency in distributing protein intake across meals throughout the day might be more beneficial for muscle protein synthesis and overall body composition. 
If you want to buy the best quality gym equipments, click on the link in the description.